Now welcome back ladies and gentlemen and thank you so much once again for watching this video. Please subscribe just in case you are here for the first time and also you can press the notification bell so that you can automatically receive the notifications from YouTube immediately I post a video here on this channel. And to my subscribers, I really want to appreciate you so much because without your support then this channel cannot be where it is currently. So feel very much welcome as you watch and I really don't take your support for granted. So the former head of state, Uhuru Mugia Kenyatta's silence in politics, is a total headache for Raila Amolodinka and the Azimio Omoja Alan simply because of the consequences and the negative impacts that Uhuru Kenyatta is currently causing through his silence in politics. There are various reasons, very valid reasons as to why Uhuru Kenyatta decided to keep off completely the Azimio Lomoja Alliance politics and that is why recently Uhuru Kenyatta does not even bother at all about any of Raila Odinga's political events in the Azimio Lomoja Alliance. First of all, it is because of his retirement which he made it very publicly when he was in a certain event in Kisumu together with Raila Odinga. He said it very clear that he has retired from politics but Raila Odinga is still his party leader and that explains as to why he has not yet resigned from the Azimio Lomoja Alliance Council Chairman. And secondly, I think Uhuru Kenyatta is just following the constitution so that he can receive the monthly presidential pension. You know, if he, if he participates actively in politics, then uh, the, the, according to the constitution, Uhuru Kenyatta will not be receiving his 1.32 million per month as uh, the pension. But first of all, let's talk about the Jubilee Party. The Jubilee Party is actually, or Uhuru Kenyatta is actually the political party leader of the Jubilee Party. Remember that Jubilee Party is one of the strongest affiliated parties of the Azimio Lomoja Alliance. And also Jubilee Party is the third most popular party here in Kenya. But currently, as we speak, there are very uh, there are divisions within the Jubilee Party which is really costing the Azimio Lomoja Alliance because the divisions without that unity the strength of Azimio will uh, will decrease so therefore there are the factions who are uh, supporting the Jubilee Party Secretary General Jeremy Akioni and they are leaning towards the Azimio Lomoja Alliance there is also the second faction of the Jubilee Party leaders who are supporting Kanini Kega as their own Jubilee Party Secretary General and they are leaning towards President William Ruto. They are supporting the government. They have defected to the Kenya Kwanza Alliance government. Now these divisions, Uhuru Kenyatta as the political party leader should have decided to stand up and you know, try to solve these issues. But through Uhuru Kenyatta's silence, that is really costing the Azimio and the Jubilee Party's unity. It's causing those divisions. I think Uhuru Kenyatta is the party leader, even though he does not want to active, actively participate in politics, but he is still the Jubilee Party leader. He has not yet resigned. He has not given out that position. Therefore, he has that right to still uh, you know, solve the issues within his house so that at least the Azimio Lomoja Alliance cannot be affected or uh, negatively. Secondly, ladies and gentlemen, Uhuru Kenyatta's silence basically or automatically uh, signifies defections. Uhuru Kenyatta has defected silently from the Azimio Lomoja Alliance. It's only that Uhuru Kenyatta does not want to come out publicly and to announce that simply because of his own personal reasons and how will be uh, be taken by the Azimio Lomoja Alliance supporters and leaders. But if there's one thing that Raila Odinga will never want to happen is Uhuru Kenyatta's defections and especially announcing it to the public because it is through Uhuru Kenyatta that Raila Odinga is using him to at least sustain his politics in the Republic of Kenya and especially in the Mount Kenya region. Uhuru Kenyatta, Raila Odinga strongly believes that without Uhuru Kenyatta, then his political career would uh, decrease. Uh, Raila Odinga would have 
a very hard, hard, hard time in his politics. And that, ladies and gentlemen, Uru Kenyatta's silence is causing various defections in the Azimio Lomoja Alliance. First of all, let's talk about the Mount Kenya region. Majority of the Mount Kenya region leaders who are in Azimio has actually defected to the Kenya Kwanza Alliance simply because they don't have any direction. I think if Uru Kenyatta was actively participating in politics, he would have given them the direction that this is what I want. He would have organized the political meetings and strategies for Raila Molodinga, but simply because they lack the, 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 the direction, that is why they decided to defect from Azimio Lomoja Alliance. Not that alone, there are various leaders who are currently supporting Raila Molodinga simply because of Uhuru Mwege Kenyatta. If Uhuru Kenyatta goes out or defects automatically, then these leaders will automatically defect from Azimio Lomoja Alliance. So it is through right, Uhuru Kenyatta that these leaders are still, still attached themselves with the Azimio Lomoja Alliance and Raila Amolodinga. And finally, ladies and gentlemen, it is through Uhuru Kenyatta's mm -hmm. uh, silence that is causing a lot of frustrations to Raila Odinga. Raila Odinga is frustrated and the Azimio Lomoja Alliance in that they are currently thinking, what is it? What is the next move for Uhuru Mwike Kenyatta? What is his next political move? Why or what is causing Uhuru Kenyatta silence in Azimio Lomoja Alliance? Why is it that Uhuru Kenyatta does not want to actively participate in the Azimio Lomoja Alliance political events? And what does his silence actually signify? Those are the kind of questions that Raila Odinga and the Azimio Lomoja Alliance are currently asking themselves. So basically here, Uhuru Kenyatta's silence is causing a lot of frustrations, a lot of tension in the Azimio Lomoja Alliance. And it's a total headache for Raila Odinga. I don't know what you think. Let me hear your thoughts on the comment section below. Please don't forget to subscribe to my channel. Until next time, my name is Jason. Bye-bye.